What's on YouTube? It's PTT and welcome to another Division video. In today's video we're going to take a quick look at another topic of interest before the game's release. Weapons. Now we know that there are six confirmed weapon groups. These are pistols, shotguns, SMGs, ARs, DMRs and LMGs. We also know that the players are able to customise their weapons to make them unique and personal to their agent. Guns are able to be customised in many different ways in this game, such as scopes, grips, sights and launchers. Another cool addition is the ability to personalise your weapon with different camos. So let's now take a quick look at each weapon type and the description the game uses for each type. We're going to start off with pistols. Pistols are known for being portable and quick to draw. Pistols are ideally for close quarter scenarios and backup weapons. Pistols are more notably semi-automatic, but some can be fully automatic too. Calibre size like 9mm and 45 are very common. Calibre munitions for pistols may ultimately influence power and clip capacity. Now you can see by the image that does seem to be a quite a wide variety of pistols available in the game, and a few various attachments too. I don't know how accurate this image is going to be guys, but it is definitely a good place to go off of and kind of get a general idea. Let's move on to shotguns next then. Shotguns are known for firing a spread of pellets and are ideally for close quarters and can push or stagger an enemy if they aren't killed. They come with a few variations of pump action, magazine fed, automatic and semi-automatic. Unfortunately guys, I have no image to show you for the shotties, but I think it's a safe assumption we will have a good variety of them to play with come the final release. Up next we take a look at SMGs, or the submachine gun, or the personal defence weapon. These are portable, compact and light. They have a high rate of fire and are known for firing pistol rounds. Due to its less than ideal purpose in long range situations and a rate of fire that influences the recoil, Attachments may be recommended to properly handle recoil and improve their accuracy. Some SMGs may or may not have selective fire. SMGs are very deadly in close quarters. The use of them in confined spaces would be highly recommended. Again, I have been unable to find any images on the SMG guys, but we do know for a fact that the MP5 and Vector will be appearing in the division. Next on the list then is the Assault Rifles. Assault rifles fall intermediately in accuracy, range, rate of fire and firepower. Assault rifles are select fire weapons which can contribute to overall accuracy and marksmanship skills from a DA DMR adapted onto this class of weapon. Now that's pretty cool guys. Now I don't know how accurate this image is but you can see a lot of various weapons and attachments and I hope that this is accurate because the range of weapons we would have in the game would be absolutely awesome. Now you can see on this picture guys that they've got everything from AKs, I can see a Famous there, there's a G36 there in the middle, um, a Swiss version of the AUG, uh, the British SA-80 and various, various um, different M4s with different attach attachments on them. We can see two or three grenade launchers, suppressors, four grips, um, a couple of sniper scopes on them. I'm guessing they're more for the DMRs over the assault rifles though. So plenty, plenty of weapons to choose from if this image is anywhere near correct. So the second to last weapon group is the DMR, the Designated Marksman Rifle. The DMR possesses higher accuracy and have a, has a longer range, typically out of all the other types of firearms. But it also has a low fire rate and low capacity of about 10 rounds or less. They also sometimes have less than desirable recoil. They vary between semi-automatic and bolter action modes of firing. Semi-automatic ideally would be better suited for fighting amongst those kind of situations where you would typically use an assault rifle. Caliper size varies on different rifles and may ultimately influence the damage and devastation inflicted on a target. Now we've seen marksman rifles appear in a few different games guys, more notably in Battlefield and they were extremely good. I loved using DMRs in Battlefield, especially in that medium to long range engagement. This is definitely a weapon I'm going to be carrying around as a backup. So we move on to the final group then, the LMGs. Light machine gun possess high rates of fire, high ammunition capacity and can be utilised more ideally in a suppressive fire role due to their design and infantry support. 
a single LMG gunner on a player's team or acting as part of another antagonistic unit wields a great deal of firepower and can easily turn the tides of a conflict in favour of their allies. Guys, we all know what LMGs are like, high fire rate, big cap capacity magazines. I think this is going to be very useful if you have someone carrying one of these if you're playing as a team to play that supportive role. Team that up well with the abilities that we've seen from previous gameplay releases like the health ability, being able to throw grenades out and heal people. It could be very, very effective. I'm definitely looking forward to all these weapons in the game guys. I definitely want to get a collection of all the different weapon types. You know, I, I'm, I am a big fan of all the weapons being very situational and I like to be able to come equipped to every situation that might arise. So carrying every weapon of each class or at least one version of each group on you at all times means that no matter what situation you come up against, you are going to find yourself well equipped to deal with it. But that's it guys, or at least for this video, that's it. As always, let me know your comment section in the down, down below. I want to hear what you guys think about the weapons. Is there anything you feel you're going to be using an awful lot of? Personally, I'm thinking Assault Rifle backed up with a DMR or the Vector backed up with a DMR will probably be my ideal setup. But what do you think you're going to run for, guys? Let me know down below. Thank you very much for watching. As always, don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. A thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. And until the next video, guys, I will catch you all soon.